thing about music that you, that's the most important thing that you need to realize is that there are no rules. advice I'd give you is never re read a book about songwriting because songwriting is like love it's like stuff like the love that you have for your mom like you can't teach somebody that you know it's something that's yours your songs are yours and nobody can teach you how to feel what you feel or express how you feel there's, no, there's basic, like, knowing the keys and knowing different colors that you can pick from to make that emotion. Like, if, when you watch a movie, right, and then there's that background music that creates that tension, right? That's, like, the movie is telling a story. Your voice and lyrics are telling a story. It's about the music behind that's creating the drama or the intensity that makes the story come to life. You know what I'm saying? When a big string section comes in, it's very dramatic, and everybody sheds a tear. Yeah. If you ever watch a movie without music, it's totally boring, yeah. you know? I've scored, uh, you know, movies, and I'm just like, was totally like, wow, man. <laughs> it wasn't for, you know, music. So don't, like, don't ever, even though like I admire the fact that you're making the initiative, I would suggest don't. Like spend that time practicing your scales. You know what I'm saying? You're an honest kid. You're you got a good heart. I can already tell that. You know, just let that be you. Yeah, and instead of spending time reading a book, who probably never wrote a hit song in his life, is trying to teach you, yeah. like. It's your heart, it's your feelings, it's your emotions. Then, like, that's what a producer is here for. To help you, like, showcase those yeah. in the best way. I'm just like a library of ideas that I'm like, hey, why don't we try this? I don't, like, warm up before I go, but I set up my set list so the first three songs are easy okay. on my voice. So they kind of warm me up. Yeah, but it's it's okay. Like it's good for you to go at home and and like practice your scales singing like uh, uh, like and then like. switch you know but it's still the same kind of like Dore Mufaso yeah Dore Mufaso yeah only Americans right. use that yeah. uh, a chord is made out of the root the third and the fifth and why do they call it the third and the fifth remember when you're counting one two three four five to find the third, one, two, three, four, to find the minor third, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, to find the eight on a piano. So over here it would be one, one, two, three, four, five. You know what I'm saying? It's the same concept. You also want to make sure that when you record, that you're not peaking your levels to the red, right? Yeah. Because what happens is when they get beyond their frequency, then they start distorting. But if you have a perfect performance, right, and you're like, you know, I have this perfect performance, but it's peaking, there's this other, when you compress it, do you know what a compressor does? Yeah. Basically, a, a compressor basically takes the lowest volume of, a, of any sound and the highest volume. And it even them out. So like even though you're playing lighter, you can hear it. And uh, you know 
I'm saying? But then you can adjust the parameters of how, why, or thin. You can make it all loud and compress it like that. But I, you, I always put a compressor on pretty much everything just because it just gives, gives it more uh, fluidity. Uh, I like. I think that compressors are good for, you know, everything. I mean, just as long as you don't over compress it, because if you over compress it, you'll be able to tell. You know, it sounds like, you know, that it's compressed. Like compressors, you're not supposed to be able to tell what you're using. You know, you're only supposed to. Be, it's like auto tune. Well, vocalists use auto tune. And even though I sing on pitch, like, I use it to even it out. Mm -hmm. But you shouldn't be able to tell. Mm -hmm. You know, like, the, like those Kid Rock songs or the Cher songs that has that, or T-Pain? All that is, is, like, someone singing off pitch and it being out of tune completely and it's fast. So it's going, what? It's tuning it up. You know, th that's how they came with that effect. Now they do it on purpose in some instances, but these days, like, there's a lot of artists that can't sing at all, and you can literally write any note there for them. This is, you know, which is unfortunate because then there's real artists who, like, practice their whole life, and, you know, so. smile and my mind goes insane You make it hard not to feel this way And these words are hard for me to say But I feel it's time for me to say I love you smile I'm so afraid I'ma lose everything when you smile I feel the taste love inside don't go away when you smile I'm so amazed the things you do got me insane when you smile at me that way you take away all my about the way you smile, girl. Still stand right here next to me.